Hello and welcome to the very first installment of Technocrats Technology Reviews, where we'll be doing reviews of almost anything technology related. Whether it's hardware, software, or just plain old interesting websites, we'll be reviewing them with an unbiased opinion to give you a 100% honest to god truth about how they handle and what they do. My name is Matt, and today we're going to be going over a very interesting piece of software that is designed to spruce up the normal boring desktop of any operating system on the market. The program is called RainMeter and is available for free at the company's website, rainmeter.net, and the link will be down in the description box if you need it. I was fairly excited to download this program, as it looked very interesting in the images. I do admit, though, as excited as I was to see the full capabilities of the software, I was a bit skeptical um, at first, because I really don't feel that the, my desktop needs to be spruced any further than what it is. With the latest innovations and desktop widgets that Windows 7 has brought to the table, I felt that this very well could be an unnecessary program to have for any computer. It took me a good half an hour fiddling around with it before I finally got it, the software configured the way I wanted it to, which in my mind is an extremely long time to configure software. I think part of the issue is that when you want to add or remove multiple items uh, from the taskbars up here, you need to actually right click and then go to these and then scroll all the way down and say I wanted to add uh, a music widget or just a reader taskbar music. Let's remove that. See, I'm already doing it where you have to go in there and you click on one thing and then it disappears and you have to go back in and get it going all over again. And it's uh, relatively time consuming. And then on top of that, given the nature of the tran given the transparent nature of all the icons, for instance, you can see right here the clock. It's a uh, 100% transparent except for the item. I actually have to scroll it over this uh, this tree right here for you to see it. Um, given the transparent nature of the background of all the icons, it's really difficult to tell where they begin or end. For instance, this guy goes out to here and goes out to here, which is why there's that giant space between the two of them. However, once I got all the widgets that I wanted on the two out of the three toolbars, here there's one and there's the other. Um, and the skin that I was using, uh, the skin package is called Enigma. It's on the rainmeter.net website uh, in the Explore tab, I believe. I noticed that a few of them weren't initializing, which is which is to be expected. Uh, they were things like the Facebook news feed and the Google Calendar for your desktop and the Twitter feed. Understanding that they need login, login information uh, entered into them so that they could actually continue to function properly, I went hunting for a place to enter that information. For certain widgets, like the Yahoo Weather tool, which is right here, uh, it was easier to find where the information was, where to enter the information. Five to seven lines down on the setup code, it was very plainly typed. Um, enter your zip code here, um, where you backspace the text and you entered your zip code and everything was hunky-dory. Other such, others such as Google Calendar and most of the social networking feeds were impossible to find. I read through every line of code in the configuration files two to three times and could not find a location anywhere to enter my information. So I figured maybe the widget uh, picks up the login information when you log into that specific service. So I went and logged into the services uh, and even downloaded the offline app for Google Calendars, but still to no avail. Um, I still can't get the Google Calendars, or the Facebook feed, or the Twitter feed to work properly. The program is time-consuming to set up, and for some, uh, some of the more interesting and useful widgets it comes with, it requires a great deal of coding knowledge, patience, and observational skills. If you're willing to work your way through that, then I can see this program being of great use to you. Um, it definitely makes the desktop look a little more interesting. Um, on the top of the three reckon, on top of the three recommended skin packs that are uh, that Rainmeter suggests on their website, they also make a mention to DeviantArt having one of the largest selections of widgets and skin packs available for Rainmeter. I went uh, went there for a quick glance, and indeed it did. Uh, DeviantArt's collection is massive. It has just about everything you could ever want, including specific variations of things such as the clock, like right here, and uh, the calendar right here. You can see that the calendar is kind of boring, uh, but they have a much more interesting version. They have Android spin-offs of all the clocks on DeviantArt as well, so if that's something that would interest you, you can always look there. Um, the program also came pre-stocked with a CPU meter, which is right here. 
a power meter for laptops. Uh, that's also up here, but it also duplicates down here inside the CPU meter as well. And it also came with uh, monitors for RAM, hard drive space, and then it also came with a network connection uh, that tells you not only your upload speeds and your download speeds, but it also gives you your IP and what type of connection you have. Uh, for people who are a little less interested about um, you know, what the load on your CPUs are, this probably wouldn't really sell the program to you. And I, I even had my issues with this. Uh, for instance, the, uh, the best hard drive meter that I could find only supports up to two hard drives. So for people who have more than two hard drives, it wouldn't really do you much good. It'd leave you in the dark for half of your system, potentially. And for people who have, you know, uh, quad cores, hex cores, or oct cores, the best CPU meter I could find only supported two CPU, uh, two cores. So, I mean, you could only be keeping an eye on the uh, the load of a fraction of your uh, computer. My final verdict on this software overall is that the program is not for everyday computer users. If the program interests you, but you're not too interested in investing the time to learn it, I would highly recommend sticking with the Windows desktop widgets, or, which are significantly more user-friendly compared to this program. Um, it's, it has a growing library of add-ons on the Microsoft website. In the end, the few interesting useful widgets on this program that I could get working in the time that I had to test it for the review was not enough to sell the program for me and make me a consistent user. So, until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.